this. Then you hydrate a little bit. You still need it all. I thought you only needed the shaded stuff for, for unlocks, though. Dude, at some point, we gotta get Kane successfully done. Let's, let's just let it go, man. Let's let it go. Let's send it. Dunce cap. You know what? It turns into different things. So we say, we say yes. All right. I already know that you're gonna, like, hit me with some uh, recipes. I promise I will not be able to read them in banter simultaneously and also play the game and also make Hush and Boss Rush. So, like, I'm just telling you, you gotta save your keystrokes. Not for my sake, but, like, for your sake, because you're gonna lose your mind, probably. Put a little battery in there. Just remember, seven coins, one soul heart. Okay, so seven coins, one soul heart is, is something we'll try to make. For now, we might just get some stats or, or like, just, just mass consumables, but anyway. Are basement suites a thing in South Korea? The first thing I'll say, I guess, is that I'm not, like, an expert on, um, you know, South Korean real estate. But I don't think so. Um, to the to nearly the same extent that they would be in North America There's a lot less of the uh, the idea that you would buy like a, a detached house like most adults live in uh, Apartment buildings Which I think is is becoming a thing in in Canada at least but in the cities, but outside of that I don't know, just different... I mean, there is a lot less real estate to go around there, for sure. Yeah, not not everybody in South Korea lives in the Parasite House. If you were of the opinion that that represented the average living situation in uh, in South Korea, you're you're slightly mistaken. That's it. No, don't get me wrong. I, like, I understood the message of Parasite to begin with. However, the subtext of Parasite was like, yo, that was a sick house. Like the super text was like these people suck, but then the and so does society. But the subtext was like, damn, the house do be schmacking though. Okay, let's see what we got going on in here. Dingle. No, I haven't watched uh, Minari yet. I don't know. Is it is it uh, like a, a paid video on demand sort of thing? I don't know. If you if you live in Canada, where is this available? I do want to watch it. Um, Got to be in the right uh, mindset for sure. It's gonna move me to tears. I watched it on Amazon Prime. Really? It's on Prime Video? Oh, you oh, you can rent it on Amazon. Okay, dude, I might do that. I get it. <laughs> If we get a chance this weekend. Would you? This is a good question. It's a very easy one for me to answer, but I'm, I'm sure there will be some uh, dissent. Would you rather live in the Parasite House or the House from Knives Out? 100% I'd rather live in that ultra-modern... Uh, secluded house from Parasite that's in the middle of the city center, but also has some privacy. Um, okay, hold up, hold up. This is it. It's not quite good enough. You know what? This is okay. I would consider this to be worth a try, at least early on. The Knives Out house has it's got a bunch of stuff, you know, going for it. It's big. It's got secret passages and stuff like that. But uh, I, the Parasite house is is undefeated. That's the other thing. I mean, I get it. Like, if you lived in the house, you would have the means to keep it clean. But, like, the, the older I get, the more I see, like, big houses in media, the more I just look at it and go, like, bro, that's, like, a full-time job just to keep that place from falling apart. I don't want that. There's too much... Like, the house from Paris is still pretty big, don't get me wrong, but, like... <laughs> the house from Knives Out? I'm like, dude, now I gotta, I gotta become, like a, like, a CEO of my home just to... Just to keep the place from being dusty. Like, that's that's hard.
I don't think, you know, even in my wildest dreams of opulence, I don't think I would ever want to live in a place that requires, like, daily staff. That would, like, that's too much. That's two bombs. You know what? Give me these. Give me these. You know what? Give me that. Yeah, you gotta use it, man. What about robot staff? That, at that point, I could be persuaded, I think. <laughs> if, if there was robot staff, I think I would get over it. Uh, this is just bad. That's pretty good, though. Okay. We can work with that. I mean, I'm not mad about flush. I think there's some value in getting a, a spacebar item early. And now we can, you know, if we carve uh, or, or craft a spacebar item that's worse than this, we never have to use flush again, or we never have to use it. We can just uh, cycle a penny in or something like that, turn it into something else. Give it a try. Have the robot butler from Rocky IV. Happy birthday, Polly. The robot is gone. No slide, don't do it. She's out of here. Yeah, I don't, like, as a kid, I remember in, like, uh... Get flushed! I remember in, um, fifth grade, we had a, uh a project to like design our dream home and everybody did the same thing you know at, at that age we're like and then there's on floor three million there's a, a a ping pong table pool that's not a bad item hook me up man um i'm not afraid anymore I shouldn't... Well, no, I'm glad I picked that up, actually. Um, but now, like, the older I get, the more I'm like... I don't want that, you know? I, I mostly... I just want... A, a tinier house in a better location. <laughs> I'm happy where we are right now, don't get me wrong. I'm just like, you know... Oh, yeah, okay, so can I tell you what... I, I was wondering why everybody was going question mark, question mark, question mark. Um... It's because I picked up an item for a lot of HP that just gave me consumables instead. I literally traded like two red heart containers for a demon heart. Not a wise play. And I was... I, I can't believe... You know, my initial hunch was like, what's chat talking about? They don't know what they're talking about. I'm the Isaac player here. What did you just say to me, you little chatter? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class from Isaac Academy. But then, it turns out they were right this time. <laughs> Dreamcatcher is good, by the way. Wrong? Pro possibly the worst movie based on a Stephen King property ever made. Truly, almost an insulting film. Actually wrong. Dreamcatcher's awful. Exactly. What did I tell you? That's what I told you. Dude, map's pretty good. Dark Tower. Okay, you know what? I've not seen it. Dreamcatcher's really bad, though. Like, this might have been from the original book, but there is a part in Dreamcatcher where, um... A man, like, I think he poops out an alien, and then he's stuck on the toilet trying to, like, hold it in um, while, like, his friend is beating the door down. Like, it's a, it's just a total disaster. That's in the book. Oh, dude, this is pretty crazy. So I'm going seven coins in a spirit heart here, you know? Let's, let's try it. Suppose we can just hold that and cycle it out. It's really bad. Like, 
The, and the thing is, it's like, um, it's played straight is the thing. If it was a comedy, you might be like, that's funny. Like, that's kind of like a James Gunn sort of sense of humor there. Um, but that's not the, it's not the way it's played in the movie. In the movie, it's played, like, menacingly. Like, oh, I hope he doesn't let the poop weasel get out. What's your opinion on the movie Casino? It's a good movie, man. Casino, I, I certify it, good movie. Give me a spirit heart, please. I think it like it's not as um, well liked as Goodfellas, but that doesn't mean it's bad, man. Still a good a good movie. Okay, we're almost there. We just need to swap out this red heart for a key. Heavy bad. I'd swap out the key for this. All right, we should know by now that that's portable slot. Okay, let swap out the the coin for a pill. There's there's something to that. Don't get me wrong. But perhaps. Perhaps we can get a spirit heart. <laughs> you know what? Here's I, I got is an honest opinion for you. Okay, getting seven coins is easy, so I am merely going to take the HP that's available right now, and then start to rebuild to get to what Chat has uh, told me is alabaster box. Because it's in, we, we can farm this HP up pretty infinitely, you know? Seven coins in a pill is not a... That's not a hard recipe to come to, to come to pass. Leave that behind for the time being. Healthy donation machine? You know it, Cobalt. I got, I got too good to use Syndrome on my donation machine. Hey, honestly, just... I, I did that on purpose. I'm, like... I, I just want you to die faster, and our damage is really bad, so if you could just get hit by the revenge fly, I'm gonna be a happy man. Yeah, this is, this is quality of life. Smart fly plays, baby. Are you gonna play Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion? So I Bear told me I should play it. I also saw it on Steam and thought to myself that it might be worth playing. But when I watched the, the kind of trailer on Steam, I, I was unsold by the end of it. But I may consider giving it a giving it a try. I've, I've heard it's short, which is oh, there's a lucky penny in there. Hmm. One moment, please. Lucky Penny doesn't count as anything different? No, wait, that, it does. This used to be portable slot, but then... It, okay, hold on. Box of Spiders? That's actually substantially better than Flush. Which will... All, oh, okay. You mad genius. It's all coming together. We just need one more... No, we don't need one more Penny. So there's Alabaster Box. You use that, which allows you to... What? Okay, 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 hold on. Which pays out with a Spirit Heart. And then you... Oh, but my Box of Spiders is gone now. Okay, but that's fine. Then we use Alabaster Box. It gives us seven seals. Okay, so this is how you endlessly farm up special items. I understand. To an extent. And then we do. Let's go. We got a box of spiders back. Heavy pog. Then we pick this up, but it doesn't give us anything. And I'm looking at, and I'm like, wait a minute. Did we get? Wait, what? What, what was the point, though? <laughs> we just, we just did nothing, right? We did all that just to get nothing.
you just keep farming the box over and over. But but every time you, okay, like I'm obviously I'm missing something. I'm I'm okay with that. But like, when you endlessly farm the box to get more items, like doesn't the box just give you? You farm the box until you get to eight spirit hearts, which gives you mom's knife. Okay, so all, all of this is just, it's collective engineering to get me to create the most boring run of all time. Is that, is that the, the joke here? Yes, okay. Well, you know, there we go. Now, now I know I'm free from this prison and I will instead just do gaming and, uh, and we'll move on. <laughs> It's also the alabaster box is worse when you take a deal with the devil. Okay, so that if you don't take deals with the devil, the alabaster box gives you double the payout instead. All right, well that that's noted. It's quite a complicated troll. Yeah, just just relax. I mean, did you see? Uh, I replied to it on Twitter. There was the. The comment from the the chess women's grandmaster who said like you've probably been backseated before but have you ever been backseated like this and then the uh the video was called like my first time baking and then the top comment was uh hey great video just a few tips for you and then it was like minimum 13 things on the list in an essay format like <laughs> yeah it's <def> <laughs> Step 12 was like, you know, don't open the oven to check on the cookies. It would be better to get an oven that has a window on the front of it. And you're like, okay, so no no problem. First time baking cookies. The the constructive criticism that I have for you is uh, buy a new oven. Really smart and, and good feedback. Definitely feedback that was made to help the person that made the video, not just to make yourself feel like you're some kind of like authority on baking cookies or something like that. Anyway, what I was going to say is this is nothing like that, so don't sweat it. Um, moving on. I am going to play you one time. Dude, I'm going to level with you. I've, I've come to terms with Aquarius not being so bad. I've actually, especially if you have no damage, I feel like creep is worth something. Just in general, I think creeps better in the game. We don't have a key. Okay, now I'm gonna blow you up. How about seven cents? I picked that one up. <laughs> How about seven cents and then five cents on top of it? Oh, that's right, I forgot. It, it synergizes with your tier effects now. Donkey dunk, donkey dunk. That's 13 cents? Mm, I don't think so. That's right, it's the square hole. And what do we do with the arch shape? That's right, it goes into the square hole. Rainbow baby, I, I sleep on that. Glaucoma tears, honestly, like insulting. I think I'd rather go back to, to rainbow baby, but let's just hold this for a moment. I think we're we're in this for the long haul now. This is not boss rush or hush. <laughs> this is something completely different. Golden razor. I don't even know what it does. Um, this item does not exist in my brain. There's no entry for it whatsoever. It's very good. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I'm like, don't tell me recipes. They're like, NL, here's one recipe. By the way, spoilers, it's Alabaster Box. I'm like, hey, what does this item do? They're like, take it, Kappa. Smiley face. You'll see. Can you tell me what it does? No. <laughs> You'll see. Just want to know. Don't, don't make me all tab. Don't, oh, my bone heart. Don't turn me into a, into a wiki user, man. That's all I ask. Turns your money into damage for one room. Oh, okay, so it's a razor that takes money instead of HP. That's, uh, that's interesting. I really don't want to get rid of Box of Spiders. But I do think Box of Spiders does spit out a Spirit Heart as well.
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm living dangerous. Instead, I'm just gonna do what I always do on Tainted Cane and uh, exclusively take HP upgrades until I get no damage and then uh, die due to no damage and then complain. If you'll excuse me, um, we're already there. <laughs> we're gonna get there one of these days. You're going to give me some good items, like an eternal heart and a dime. Okay, now we're talking. Give me this, because I don't want to get planetary. I mean, maybe planetariums give you better consumables. I don't know, to be honest. A is glaucoma. Um, but, you know, we're, we're trying to just get like a mass effect of consumables going here is, is my, my take on it. Dude, this, as long as we're talking high value... It's damage! There's some damage! We turned an Eternal Heart and seven other consumables into 0.58 damage. There's something to that. <laughs> it's a heavy price to pay, but there was some value associated. Thinking about playing Returnal when it comes out. I might like to give it a try. You know, I... I, I have a... I don't know if I would call it deserved. I have a degree of skepticism surrounding just about every 3D roguelite. Like, I've never played um, a 3D roguelite that I enjoyed. To, to a, the same extent as, like, really any 2D roguelite that I've, I've lost my soul to. I know you're going to say, what about Risk of Rain 2? No, that's a constant source of, of friction between myself and chat. I just, like, I respect the game. I don't find it fun, though. Like, I... If, if you're asking for my, my honest-to-goodness truth, I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade, but my, uh, my experience with Risk of Rain 2, and, and to some extent, honestly, like, Gunfire Reborn... Uh, was that, like, while I was playing it, I was, like, by all accounts, like, on an intellectual objective level, like, this should be up my alley, but I find myself just kind of, like, waiting for the time to pass so we can play, you know, mini golf instead. Which is not, um, you know, I mean, before you get mad, remember, you, you, you wanted to hear it, you know? Just say, the, the 3D roguelites have, have never tickled my fancy to that degree. The closest one is going under, but I honestly think it's like, just cause like, I don't like first person shooters that, that much. And, and a lot of the 3D roguelites kind of take the, they take the form of either a, a, a 3D, uh, a third person shooter or a first person shooter. Neither one of which is, uh, of particular interest to me. But Returnal, like, it looks good. People have said they've they've had a great time with it. Like, I, I don't... I'm not suggesting that I think it's gonna be bad. I'm more kind of setting the stage that my own expectations are kind of irrelevant. Because a lot of the time when I play them, I'm like, oh, I'm excited to play. And then when I... Uh, when I actually play it myself, I'm like, I wish I was just playing Isaac. <laughs> Just different strokes for different folks, but I'll probably give it a try, yeah. I don't even know what this is. Little, little dumpy? It's bad? It's an insult? It's a butt? Okay, well, you know what? Not necessary, then. My dude just purged Slasher's Keep from his memory. I, it, like, it's, it's a pretty good game. I, I had an okay time playing Slasher's Keep for, like, you know, a few hours. And then I kind of started to have, like, not such a great time. When you got stuck in a mosquito room where you had no means to kill the mosquito for, like, ten minutes. Um, Wiggles Esquire. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. Coins. Goodbye. 
Dad's key. It's not it's not all that. We need the spiders right now for like literally any kind of damage. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't forget, we got meat on the last floor. We're not totally bereft of damage. Anyway, it was less like of a challenge that was like, please, you know, fact check and, and more of like an honest... Uh, Opinion, I suppose. Like, I've never really played a, a, a 3D roguelite. I, I have an, an, a level of skepticism towards 3D roguelites. And for that matter, like, 2D roguelites as well. Like, sometimes people will be like, oh, check it out. It's like, Isaac, but you play as, like, a bunny. And I'm like, eh. I'm not totally... <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Just because... I don't, I, I, I don't put a lot of... Here we go again. Um, I don't put a lot of... Uh, value on the idea of like, hey, it's like, you know, a new roguelite. Like, I'm, that's probably a better way to describe it, okay? Great new roguelites come out. And I think, I think you're right on this one. I think this is the right time. Great new roguelites come out with like a certain degree of regularity, but the average new roguelite that comes out is kind of just good to middling. You know, everyone's going to be like, you know, what about Hades? What about, you know, Dead Cells, etc., etc.? You're missing, like, the... He can do it? The, like, 30 other games that came out that, you know, only Dan played. <laughs> like, I, I don't... I, I would... Uh... Weirdly enough, roguelites are like the exception that proves the rule. Like, I love variety in general in games, or in streaming at least, but the more roguelites I play, the more I actually just grow an appreciation for like the the dozen or so that I, I very much love. You know, I, I think that's one where I'm like, I, the quality over quantity in that one for me is is tilted in like the opposite direction of what it usually is. A lot of the times when, I, when I'm playing like a, a, a brand new roguelite that's like a 7 out of 10, it just makes me like appreciate the, the, the 8s to 10s that, uh, that we already have that much more. Like I get wistful for, for the game that I've played uh, 6,000 hours of already. Um, can you re-roll troll bombs? This is something like you should know at this point. <laughs> I don't think you can reroll troll bombs. But, you know, let's give it a try. Let, let's test it. It's Isaac Mythbusters. Definitely cannot. Um, that's pretty good though. Hairpin is, is helpful here. So that's that's more me setting the stage, like. Um, I would probably, like, I'll, I'll probably check out Returnal. Oh, I don't know, like, it, it comes out so soon. It comes out in, like, a week. I might give it a segment and see how I feel about it. It's one of those, by, like, by all accounts, it should be up my alley. But I, I, I need to give it a try before I know for certain. Yes, trinkets can also... Sorry, I was looking at chat. Trinkets can also not go in the sack, and neither can troll bombs. Dude, honestly, whatever. I'm glad we got hit. <laughs> Revenge fly is, is our MVP here. We've created our own train wreck. I don't feel... I mean, this is... Like, who cares? But I don't feel like Risk of Rain 2 is underappreciated. I feel like it's it's got, like, overwhelming you know, positive reviews on Steam. Everybody who plays it, like, evangelizes it. You know, there were streamers who played the game for, like, you know, five-digit concurrent viewers. Like, I think it's well-liked. Be smart here. Start with key. Not good enough. Replace coin with bomb?
Reroll this garbage. Okay, now we're talking. Replace bomb. Replace red heart with nickel. But we need... Okay, hold on this. Now we're cruising. Not good enough, but replace bomb with other nickel. Replace other bomb with key. <laughs> replace... Key with coin. Replace coin with key. Take me back to mom's bracelet. <laughs> Replace pill with coin. Okay, I, I can live with this. I can live with this. It's something. It's not great, but it's something. And then we just, we, as Tainted Cane, you got to ignore that. We should have ignored it earlier, but. <clears throat> oh, it didn't even give us, it doesn't give us bombs? <laughs> I thought it gives you five bombs, man. That's the whole reason I did it. We're just, just driving through downtown mausoleum right now, begging for the location of recipes through text. Okay, not a wise idea, but on the other hand, Lucky Penny? Dull Razor, we don't care. And if you don't care, then we don't care. Box of Spiders, that's an all-time classic. Um, charge me up, please, but why? But why? Like, for what purpose? Yeah, good good point. Okay. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. That was an invisible enemy? That enemy came out of nowhere. Very simple. You know what it takes to win this run. A mere can of corn. One simple can of corn, and I'll be all right. I believed fully. You know what? Like, it, we gotta live. I, w I wish it weren't the case. But we must live. So we'll go back to our third box of spiders. I don't even want to think about, like, how many consumables I've wasted just flip-flopping back and forth here. But we got a good setup here, man. We got a dime, we got a spirit heart in there. Like, that's that's nothing insincere. I just, I, I cannot seem, you know, it's a character, this, this character is going to turn me into a Brady Games power user. It's the only explanation for how we can proceed. Is obviously just picking up random, random consumables and trying to make them work is, uh, is not the way you play. I want to make it work my way. It's that much more satisfying, but uh, we might have to accept that this is uh, it's not the not the character for that. I'll take. That's a good take. I'll take. I'll take. No, you can't place trinkets in the bag, and you also cannot um, place troll bombs into the bag. And you also cannot place trinkets into the bag. It's a common question. You also cannot place the boss into the bag, although that would be pretty sick. Uh, I'm not locked out here with you. You're locked out here with me. Could you put a 3D roguelite in the bag? For a dollar, could you name a 3D roguelite? I'm going into the curse room, man. This It's all turning around right here. I'm sick of being pushed around. 
What did I tell you? We should have uh, picked that up for certain. <laughs> Either way. Ice, ice baby. The best familiar in the game, possibly. Now there's a chance. It's your favorite gimmick in the game in theory versus in practice. I mean, this one's pretty close to the top. <laughs> I really do like the idea a lot of, uh, you know, you craft your own items. But I've realized, like, when you don't think about it, you're like, this is pretty sick. When you actually play it out in practice, the, you know, fr most frictionless way to win is to just, you know, either exploit Alabaster Box or, like, you know, just learn the recipes by heart and turn every run into Mom's Knife. But, um, we got to... Uh, we got a chance here. We got a chance to put our own our own spin on this. We just got to never take damage ever again. Is there a rune in there? No, I I saw something that didn't exist. Yeah, now if they had random recipes, now we'd be talking. I need it. I, I wish I didn't, but I do. Give me the half one. Let's, let's craft something worthwhile here. He's learning how to bargain. <laughs> oh, they have the same value? Okay, that I just didn't know. Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Um, Chrysalis! Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Much appreciated. This runs for you now. I'm leaving it all out on the table for Chrysalis. I'm doing it, man. We, we got to swing for the fences. This fence was not worth swinging for. That's a, that's a lesson learned. I was hoping we would pick up uh, <laughs> anything at all, really. You haven't happened to see anything at all, have you? Hey, has Levy replied to my Ivana Humpalot tweet yet? Might need some more context for that <laughs> for anyone who didn't see the last episode. <laughs> Just sounds like I'm I'm harassing. Well, I am harassing him, but not in a not in an 18 plus variety. It's the mom fight. Dude, I really don't want to do the mom fight with this level of HP. Let's let's work on it here. It's just a simple friendly harass for uh for content. Let me in. Mm, I, dude, I don't want to use my bombs. It's true. Tinted skull could give me a card. Well, it will give me a card. Can't put uh, trinkets... You can't put trinkets in the bag? Um, just something to... Something to think about. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and know when to run. Okay, hold on. Got to That that was pretty great luck. You're you're not going to get that luck in every circumstance. Just taking a look. This bag is schmacking. It could start schmacking in just a second here. Please. Okay, that's fine. Keys are not that good. Replace a key with a coin. Just just the cycle, just the cycle. Okay. That something is not what we want, but it's something. It's actually good. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to do it. But like, I, I just, I, I want to live through the mom fight as well. And I'm not, you know what? We get to open this and this is a little preview. We can open it in advance. Good lesson learned there. Every chest becomes an item with that. 
Mm, debate on that one? Well, except that one. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna buy the spirit heart to try to stay alive. I, I think I'm gonna buy... I mean, there's something to trinket smelter when there's so many trinkets on the ground, but I think I'm gonna buy the blanket and hope for um, good consumables. Like, I, we're in such a, a pinch right now. I, I'm realizing we should have absolute. I know it doesn't give us the item. I actually just wanted, like, good consumables out of it. Because I... We need to craft something that allows us to win. My, my commitment to massing items early in the game is very... That's my bad. It's very foolhardy. What we should have been doing is basically in the early game when times are easy, don't settle for garbage. Keep fishing for something incredible. I think that's the secret. Okay, stop that. Give me some spirit hearts. I'm going to take one for now. I'm going to leave the other one on the ground just in case. Why do I keep doing Don't do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, also definitely feel like angel deals are the way to go. Or at the very least, don't give up 2 HP to pick up uh, Spirit of the Night for no reason. Okay, surprisingly okay. This will actually give us something. So we're going to take the negative for the damage. We're going to suck up the spirit heart. I mean, this this is possible. Revenge Fly is doing great stuff for us as well. We're st what is the How long has this run been going on? 39 minutes. Okay. 39 minutes to Utero 1. Not all of that was just malaise trying to actually, like, do damage to enemies but failing. Some of that was trying to farm up good items and failing. Uh, so there, there, there has been some variety there. But this is where it could improve. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on a new principle, okay? My new principle is only suck up good items. Good consumables, I should say. Everything else, we, we just pick them up. That is not your tinnitus, by the way. That is the vacuum cleaner. Don't, don't freak out. It's okay. Just chill. It's just the Dyson. Get frozen. Thank you. Dude, the freeze is also like incredible defense. Tinted rock. That hurts. It, it hurts when you do that. But you know what? We got another nickel for the bag. So you're saying there's a chance. Thank you, sir. I thank you. There's a temptation. Let's just see what it makes. We don't take. That's that's how you get in trouble. Now you put coins here and you get ready to cycle them out. If we have to, we could take HP to survive. Now we got a way out. Watched Moneyball yesterday, really liked it. Any other movie recommendations? Um, if, you, if you liked Moneyball, this is me pretending to be Netflix. You just finished Moneyball. Would you like to watch Austin Powers, Gold Member? Sniped. Whatever. What do we care? We don't want to deal with the devil anyway. Thank you for protecting me from myself. The algorithm has decreed you like vaguely intellectual movies starring Brad Pitt. Have you considered watching The Big Short? Please leave a review in the App Store. This is workable. This is this is something you can hang your hat on. We'll take. 
they were just sucking these up because uh, we could use the bomb, honestly. But you know what? Like we, we're getting something. We're we're rebuilding. Seven seven coins in a bomb is so easy. You know what? While we're here, <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Big Short is a great movie. It's, it's a fun movie. Oh my. How to craft can of corn. Oil can. I mean, at this point, to, to achieve some degree of, of success on this run, I don't want to talk myself up, but we could probably get away with it. Uh, just having endless amounts of, of HP upgrades. We probably have enough... If we can get HP, we have enough damage to possibly make it through. But I also don't remember what the recipes are for HP. I just know if sometimes if you put a lot of bad items and a couple good ones together, you, you get something. Bro, like... Come on, man. <laughs> the problem with the Netflix algorithm is that uh, all people have bad taste. I mean, I, I, I can't disagree. Like, if you look at the charts, like the, the top tens on Netflix, it'll make you question your faith in humanity. Like, every David Spade movie that comes out is like, Number four! Number one, we put season two of Grey's Anatomy on here. We don't have season one or season three through eleven, but season two is on the top of the list right now. Also, do you remember that weird romantic comedy starring uh, Mila Kunis that came out in 2013? For some reason, that's the most popular movie on Netflix for four months running. Nobody knows why. One person in the Midwest accidentally just left it on autoplay and it's... We don't know how to stop it. Okay, we are we are one hit away from death. <laughs> Can't stop at this point. If I stop moving, I will be hit. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. Well, Revenge fly, please, please! Oh god, I didn't know there were two still left. Okay. Still going, still going. This is bad. We don't even have we have no means to generate HP for ourselves, and these enemies simply cannot be dodged. So good night, Gracie. Literally just can't be done. <laughs> Slash marker, tainted canes. 